What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today from Star Wars The Black Series we are taking a look at Han Solo from The Force Awakens. This is the brand new updated Archive 2022 release that allegedly has a brand new head sculpt and I say that because it is really hard to tell. Thankfully, I do have the original figure, so we will be able to see just what exactly is going on this time around. And this also marks one of the first times we're actually getting a sequel trilogy figure re-released with a photoreal update. Say what you will about the sequel trilogy, but I personally think that fans of those movies should be able to have nice photoreal figures in their collections. So of course we have the archive packaging, you know, nothing too crazy or special going on. We've got the Gregory Titus art, which is always nice to see. A big old window so you can see Han and his blaster. On the back you can see it was a red and black box figure released way back in 2015. And here is the bio if you want to pause it and read it. We also have a larger look at the Gregory Titus art. And finally a barcode on the bottom. Like always, before we jump into the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at Han's one accessory, his iconic blaster. And here it is. And unfortunately, this time around, it has absolutely no paint apps on it. It is just a black piece of plastic, which is pretty odd to me because on my original version, I have the grip is actually painted brown. And here they are side by side, the new one here, no paint and you can see the original almost looks like it has a little bit of silver dry brushing and that brown and gold paint so interesting that this new release did not have that detail and i'd have to imagine they left the paint apps off the weapon this time because yes this is actually a brand new head sculpt after looking at it and comparing it to the original figure i definitely do think that this is actually a new sculpt it's very similar but I think what really tips it off is just the general size. The head on this re-release is bigger than the original. And I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison in just a moment here, but this figure does look absolutely beautiful. I think this new head is fantastic. The photo reel isn't too shiny. It looks almost 100% like Harrison Ford, so this is actually a pretty nice update to this figure, even though Yes, it is from the dark ages of the Black Series, so you know some of that articulation is definitely a little bit limited. And before we jump into the comparison, let's take a quick look at the details of this release. All right, and just take a look at that fantastic head right here. Hasbro really nailed this update this time around. The hair is actually nicely sculpted and has a little bit of a wash to it to give it a little bit of a brownish tint. And that photoreal face has to be some of the best we've seen in the line. This is quite impressive. And the rest of the figure is nicely detailed as well. You can see the jacket definitely has like a nice brownish wash over the darker colors, especially on the arms. And you can really see it on the back. So it actually looks leathery and worn. And I bet if we hit this figure with a matte coat, it would just look absolutely fantastic. The figure itself is a little bit shiny, but for some reason the head sculpt this time around has minimum shine. All the other paint app details are absolutely spot on here and very cleanly applied, even down to the little buckle there over the knee. And the boots as well are properly detailed as well. This is just a really nicely sculpted, nice looking figure here honestly back then in the dark ages this was one of the better figures i remember having and so now let's go ahead and take a look side by side with the original 2015 version here you could definitely see the costume is a darker tone and yeah just look at the heads here i think they are two different sizes the sculpt very 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 similar the new archive head definitely looks bigger to me and you can see the skin tone between the two are quite different as well but otherwise the details are still there paint wise it's just overall darker on the new archive release which reflects how it looks in the actual movie itself i will say on my copy i'm not able to get his blaster and his holster as good as i can on the original but it's really not that big of a deal to me and just for an ultra side-by-side -side look 
the new Han's head was actually pretty easy to pop off, but yeah, you could definitely tell that the new head is larger, although the sculpt is very, very similar. So I am happy that it is actually a new head because I did have my doubts initially and I was thinking that maybe they were just getting those details wrong like we saw with Grogu not having an extra head. So hey, you just never know. But thankfully, yes, this is a brand new head. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Han can look up about that far. He can look down a very decent amount. The head rotates around no problem and you do get plenty of side to side here. So of course that's very important for your sassy Han Solo poses. The shoulders do go all the way out and they can rotate around. This was pre-butterfly joints, so no butters on this figure. For the elbows, we do get just a little bit over 90 degrees, not too much, and they do swivel. We have the trigger finger hand here that rotates around and unfortunately is a horizontal hinge. That was a big problem back in 2015. And on the other grip hand here, you can see horizontal hinge and rotation as well. For the crunch, you really don't get anything forward at all. No, nothing really back either. You just kind of get a little bit of side to side and some swivel there. Just a little bit. There we go. Really crunching it hard forward. Yeah, not a whole lot of movement there. Something that still plagues Black Series figures to this day. For the leg with the holster on it, you can get pretty decent movement out of it, but you are inhibited a little bit because the holster is glued to the leg. On the other side though, you do get pretty much full range out of it and he can kick up pretty far. We do have double pinned knees on this figure, so at least it's a double knee, but you still really honestly don't get a whole lot of range out of it due to the sculpt. Han's got decent split action, just a little bit of kickback, thigh swivel, and of course down to the feet, they do go all the way down and they go up just a little bit and he has ankle pivot and peg holes. So not the worst articulation in the world, but it definitely is not the best either. However, it's definitely easy to get him into some iconic Han Solo poses. So pretty much the poses you want out of this figure, you're gonna be able to get it with this articulation. Now we'll do some comparisons with some other figures from The Force Awakens. Starting up, there is the original 2015 Han Solo and the General Leia figure. Next with Finn and Maz Kanata, and with Captain Phasma, and Kylo Ren with a head swap from the Last Jedi Deluxe figure. Following that with some other versions of Han Solo we've got in the Black Series. We've got Bespin Han, which I still think is the king of Han Solo figures in the line. And we also have the Return of the Jedi Endor Han, which is pretty good as well. But comparing these three together, yeah, Bespin Han still is fantastic. But this new Force Awakens head is a very close second in my opinion. And rounding out the Black Series figures, we have the Empire Strikes Back Chewbacca. And finally, for a couple import comparisons, we have the SH Figure Arts Boba Fett and the Mafex Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. As for my final thoughts on this figure, I think this is definitely a worthy upgrade from the original release. The brand new head sculpt is really fantastic and is probably the second best Harrison Ford likeness we've seen in the line so far. This is absolutely essential for sequel trilogy fans. And hopefully if this figure is successful, that means we can get more sequel trilogy stuff with photoreal updates because I think everyone deserves to have their Star Wars characters represented on their shelves with better likeness than what we used to get in the Dark Ages of Black series. Otherwise though, I'm sure for the most part, this is a pretty easy pass for people who are uninterested in the sequel trilogy, but this is a brand new experiment here kind of from Hasbro where before they never truly updated archive figures, but now we had Bush Leia with shorter legs and this Han Solo with an alternate head. So hopefully that means maybe we'll see some more updated figures in the archive line in the future. So with that in mind, there you have it. That was my review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you'd like to support us in a more direct manner, we do also offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. You get access to a custom clone trooper name badge 
and custom emojis that you can use on our videos and in our live streams, which are every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Special thank you to our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for simply watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos with all of your Star Wars figure-loving friends. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement, and I will see you next time.